You've probably heard about fasting, right? Intermittent fasting, prolonged fasting. It's all the rage for its supposed health benefits. But what if I told you there's a way to get some of those same benefits without skipping a single meal? That's the promise of a hot new trend, autophagy-inducing supplements. But is it legit or just another clever marketing gimmick? Let's back up what even is autophagy. Picture your body as a bustling city. Over time, some buildings get old, some cars break down, and trash starts to pile up. Autophagy, which literally means self-eating, is your body's built-in cleanup crew. It's a natural process where your cells identify old, damaged, or dysfunctional parts, like misfolded proteins and worn-out organelles, and gobble them up. They then recycle the raw materials to build new, healthy parts or use them for energy. It's cellular spring cleaning. This process is crucial for our health. It helps fight inflammation, slows down aging, and may even protect against diseases like cancer and neurodegeneration. So how do we turn it on? The most proven way is through stress, but the good kind, caloric restriction, intense exercise, and you guessed it, fasting, are all powerful triggers for autophagy. When your body senses a lack of incoming nutrients, it smartly starts recycling what it already has. Now, enter the supplements. A whole industry has popped up selling pills and powders that claim to be fasting in a bottle. They're packed with compounds like resveratrol from grapes, spermidine, found in things like wheat germ and aged cheese, berberine and curcumin. The science here is interesting. In lab studies, we're talking petri dishes and mice. Many of these compounds have been shown to activate the autophagy pathways. For example, resveratrol can mimic some of the cellular effects of calorie restriction. Spermidine has also shown incredible promise in animal models for promoting longevity and cellular health. But here's the million-dollar question. Does taking a spermidine pill after a big lunch actually trigger a meaningful level of autophagy in humans? The honest answer is we don't really know yet. The evidence in humans is still very limited and often conflicting. The doses used in animal studies are often way higher than what you'd get in a typical supplement. Our bodies are also incredibly complex. A compound that works in an isolated cell might get broken down by your liver before it ever reaches its target. So what's the takeaway? These supplements aren't magic. They can't replace the profound body-wide effects of a genuine fast or a hardcore workout. However, they aren't necessarily useless either. Think of them less as a primary driver of autophagy and more as potential supporters of your body's natural processes. They might give your cells a gentle nudge in the right direction. My advice? Focus on the proven methods first. Move your body, manage your eating windows, and prioritize whole foods. If you want to experiment with these supplements on top of that, go for it but manage your expectations.